Hi, I'm David Gonzalez and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a perfectly seamless stitch using a combination of Mystica VR and PT GUI. I'm just gonna right click and add a camera, navigate to the folder in which the camera the, the camera media is saved and load the footage that Sita Films 360 has uh, kindly let us um, and I just need to select them all and drag them to my project. This footage is already in sync so I'm just gonna jump into a reference frame and once I'm there I want to stitch using an external stitch. In this case I'm gonna use PT GUI and click continue. PT GUI will open and prompt me to enter the lens parameters. Uh, you need to make sure you're working on a fisheye lens uh, input the lens parameter, in this case this is a GoPro which uh, if we translate it to uh, 35 millimeters, it's gonna be a 16 millimeters lens um, and once you've hit OK you need to make sure that uh, PT GUI is understanding the lens as a full frame fisheye so if you have a different one like circular fisheye or any other one uh, the stitching will be, won't be imported correctly in Mystica. Make sure you're working on full frame fisheye. I'm just gonna go and hit align images and PT GUI will give me uh, a result. I like to roll it by 90 degrees and bring the horizon down. I can see how PT GUI has already done a really good job I have some differences in here and there are a few uh, advanced parameters that we can tweak so I'm just going to minimize the preview and we see we only have five uh, tabs in here if I click advanced I get much more the ones I want to change are the lens settings and I'm gonna uh, activate the use of individual parameters for the shift parameter uh, the shift parameter will try to correct the deviation between the center of the lens and the center of the CCD which is extremely important for undistorting the lens so I'm gonna hit that and then go to project and optimize it already says it's giving me a good result and I can just click on the panorama editor and see if it has improved the other parameter that we may want to change uh, is under the optimizer tab and has to do with the lens distortion as well. Instead of using a medium uh, uh, lens distortion I want to use a heavy uh, algorithm uh, using also the lens shift. So just run optimizer. One other thing that we can do is try to manually add control points on this area so that the roof matches perfectly. So we can go into control points, find the roof that doesn't have any control points I may want to add one there on that corner first on one image then on the other and maybe another one there if you get lost with the orientation you can always rotate the image something like that, so that light is that one. And I'm gonna hit F5 again to optimize and go back into the image. Now we see how it improved. I can now save this by file, save project as, Go. I like to save it in the same folder and I'm gonna call it rooftop V1. Now I can just minimize this and go to stitch again and import the stitch. Same file I just created. So now I can I have the stitch in here in Mystica. I can clearly see once I uh, hide the, all the overlays that I have color mismatches which is the first thing I should be uh, fixing. Uh, I want to change the gamma curve to the appropriate one which is uh, GoPro protein flat because this was shot on GoPros uh, and then go to color and match color that is great that's a great job uh, I still see some uh, mismatches in here so I'm gonna let Mystica 
uh, analyze the image and try to match that, that position. So let's go into positions and improve alignment. It's already getting it closer. Okay. Um, next thing will be to activate and uh, evaluate how well the image is uh, stitched without the use of optical flow. The idea here is that without the use of optical flow we should have at least uh, a perfect stitching at a certain distance. So I'm gonna say I need a perfect stitching at the distance of this building uh, and then all the other uh, stitching errors will be fixed uh, by optical flow because all the remaining errors will be uh, parallax errors only. So I'm gonna increase the feather and zoom in into that area and I can see that the stitching is almost perfect there. There is a slight double image but good enough to be able to apply optical flow at that point. Um, and we can see it here as well. So on that area I don't get any double image. So this way I make sure that my initial stitch is correct and that optical flow is not being forced to fix more of the problems that the optical flow should be fixing. Uh, like if we center in this position I can increase the feather and just hit optical flow and it will warp the pixels to its position like in the floor as well I can see how the armrest goes into position all the mismatches that we have there on the fl on the top go into position as well and once we are happy with our stitch uh, we can review it in our VR view mode check that the top and the bottom are correct and the last step will be exporting the file just hit export select the codec the file type and the codec that you want I want H264 and give it a name quick stitch export I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching.